Hello everyone, it is Brett and today I wanted to show you a really quick and easy way for you to collect your reading fluency progress monitoring data. Now this was one of the hardest things for me to do. Last year um, I felt like I was taking a lot of my live synchronous time with the students, pulling them individually, having them read to me, collecting all of that data. So this year I'm going to be using Nearpod. So when you are in Nearpod you are going to set up a lesson. If you have a bunch of students reading the same reading passage then you can can give them all the same length. If you have um, different students reading different passages, then you'll want to set up a lesson for each student. So let me take you into the Nearpod lesson and see what it looks like. This took me maybe two minutes to put together, so it doesn't take a long time at all. Once the students are given their link or their code, they're going to join the lesson. They'll type in their name and up will pop the lesson for them. So this is our fluency lesson. I did it as an open-ended question. Now, when you on the teacher end set this up, you're gonna want to upload um, the reading passage as in the little directions, you'll see that up here in the corner. You'll also wanna make sure that you select the option to allow them to do a audio recording for their response. That's gonna be really important. Let me delete this old one. There we go. So what the students are going to do is when they hop in, this is what they're going to see. Now, it is going to take me a few practices with the students just to get them comfortable on doing this independently. But all they have to do is click the record button and it's going to start recording what they are talking about. Now they can click on the passage and it's going to bring up that picture and allow them to read through the passage. So they'll just begin reading. When they're done, they can close out of that and they can stop their recording. That's it. They're done. Now they can submit that to you. And on your end, you are going to be able to pull up their audio recording. You can use the timer on your side just to time for a minute or however long you are doing for yours. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Nice and simple and easy. You could give this to the students as an asynchronous assignment or what I will tend to do is toward at the end of class, I'll have them do this and then dismiss them. I hope that helps you guys. You could definitely incorporate this into other fluency uh, or other uh, progress monitoring type things as well to make it easier for you teaching virtually. Have a wonderful day. See you all guys next time.